Hey, everyone, Mark the Movie Man here. And, uh, you know, people wonder maybe why I enjoy indie cinema so much, particularly indie horror films, because every so often with all the films out there, you run into a surprise film that says, wow, just when I thought I'd seen it all. Yes, today we are looking at the film called Killer Kites. It's brought to us by Paul Dale and Austin Froche. And we get the story of a woman who inherits this chest, and the chest has a kite in it. Well, it turns out the kite is possessed, and soon this kite is running rampant through their city, taking victims left and right, as well as attacking her friends. And she tries uh, to work with her friends to figure out what does the kite want, how they can keep themselves alive, and how they can get this kite to just stop killing people. <laughs> it's, sorry, uh, Killer Kite. I would have never thought uh, this uh, device would be a used as a murder uh, device. But again, like I said, indie cinema is always a surprise for you. Now, this is a micro-budget film. It's made on a small budget, but they make the most of what they have, okay? This is really like uh, a, definitely a film festival a darling, I am sure, because of the spirit that it has. It really is a throwback to those old monster B-movies where you had killer shrews, you know, where dogs were in, in shrew <laughs> blankets running around. You know, it's done in that type of spirit. It's not meant to take seriously. It's meant to be tongue in cheek poke fun. And fun is what I had with this movie. Now, uh, we've got our characters in here who really are all in and understand what type of film they're making. Uh, Mano Pages plays Abby, the woman who is, uh, has gotten uh, the uh, killer kite. And I loved her performance in here. She is just like the audience, shaking her head going, you've got to be kidding me. This can't be real. That kite can't be a kid. How the, how are killer, <laughs> you know? So she is with the audience and you connect with her. And so uh, that performance, you can tell she's having fun and is the person you're supposed to uh, relate to, which you can very easily. And uh, now uh, we've got Brock Peterson played by Paul Dale in here. Ye old Brock Peterson. What a character this guy is. I, <laughs> I love it. This guy was so funny. Uh, he was a news reporter and the news bits just had me laughing constantly, whether it was the lower third and the jokes that they did there, or just the performance of this guy, especially when he shows up later trying to jump a fence. Uh, he just, he had me rolling every scene he was in. Daniel, who was played by uh, Carter uh, uh, Simone, uh, he was fantastic too. He had a great dynamic with uh, Mano Pages. Uh, Daniel Pelley is her co-worker and he's all in. He believes right away. Oh, Kite, yeah, sure. Kite could be a killer. And I love the, histor the history they come up with for what explains why we have killer kites. And you get that bit in this wonderful montage opening that will just, uh, with a theme song as well, because you've got to have a theme song. If you're going to have a film called Killer Kites by God, you better have a theme song. And they've got one in here that'll smile, uh, make you smile, and just let you know what kind of ride you're in for. The Oracle, that character that shows up, played by Zach Lee, is like the big Lebowski, uh, you know, who actually received an existential level of understanding. He, he's just walking around, and I love when he pops up. He just pops up at random, and definitely all of these people are characters. Uh, they're very memorable. The dialogue is cheap. It's supposed to be some of the special effects. It's funny. Some of the effects work and some of the effects show the budget, but they're not hiding it at all. They're wearing it on their sleeve that this is a micro budget indie throwback to ridiculous monster films. And let me tell you, they accomplished that. And I was laughing uh, by the end credits. Uh, they even play uh, some uh, bloopers as well for you, for your entertainment. So yeah, if you like the micro budget indie horror festival type of films that don't take themselves too seriously, they know what they are and they play up to it. I think there's some fun to be had with killer kites. 
<laughs> uh, so check it out where you can i'll put as much information as i can down below please check out our patreon if you haven't already got a lot of great stuff there more we can do there the more we can do here and uh, subscribe help us get to 2500 subscribers by the end of the year we're halfway there we've got uh 22 uh we got 20 271 right now love to get to 2500 it's a tall order but i think we could do it but we can only do it with your help so thank you so much and until next time remember keep that ticket stopped